today we're gonna look at how to play Aphelios Carry, Refilliard and Deadeye. The full comps look like this. We're playing the 4 Deadeye units, adding Lysandra and Sejuani for 3 Filliards and CC. Tarek and Shen for 2 Bastions and 2 Invokers and more Frontline. Other option is to play the version with only 2 Deadeyes and more Targons. And you can even play 6 Deadeyes if you get the input. The strategy is to make time for failures to do huge AoE and solo target damage and at the same time almost one-shotting one of the units every 3 seconds due to the dead eye trade. Aphelios will hold the AD and attack speed items, Sejuani will hold the tank items, Bruiser items will go on Urgoth and other tank items can go on Shin or Tarek. The best legends is to play on for early on item, Twisted Fate to get this items and borrow to get a bigger chance to hit all the other strong arguments for this comp. The arguments that we're looking for is more dead eye, more frilliard, you have my sword, glacial breeze, portable forge, red buff and many other augments that are buffing the overall team. The best starting region that you can get is dreaming pool, hard home or Orn's forge. Athelius will be the carry and that is why we are building items for him first. Rage blade is a must. And from here you can almost build any AD items. If you have sniper focus, you will have that as the second item. And from here you can add in almost whatever. Giant Slayer, Infinity Edge and Deathblade is by far the best. Your main tank will be Sejuani, unless you only have her to 1 star and you have Shen to 2 star. We want to put pure tank items like Warmong and Stoneblade. And other great options will be Protector's Vow, Bramble Vest, Redemption and Sunfire Cape. I do often put Redemption and Sunfire Cape on Tarek, especially if I get one of the tank items from on, giving me the chance to get Sejuani the best items, Stoneblade, Warmonk and Internal Window. As mentioned, Urgot will take the Bruiser items, and that means items like Bloodthirster, Titans, Hand of Justice, Infinity Edge, Edge of Night or Guardbreaker. You can use area item that makes him more tanky or makes him do more damage. All right. You want to start off the game by a lose or win streak if possible, or else just try to avoid too much health, meanwhile you're building up your gold as fast as possible. One of the openers you can look for is Aurelia, Jin and Seth, then you are adding in Warwick plus one of the Dead Eye units, but you can also play Aurelia, Jin and Seth with Ash and Lysandra. Other very strong opener is Maokai, Kobi, Diego, adding in Jin and one of the other Dead Eye units. Jin will probably be your item holder for Aphelios, since he's already a Deadeye unit, he's a strong early game unit and it makes you able to build your team up around a Deadeye backline carry from the start of the game. At stage 2, the first thing you're going to do is picking your augment. And if you have the on, there's a good chance that you're getting Portable Forge, which is very strong. The items that you're looking for is Eternal Winter or Sniper Focus at best. But you can also use Anima Visage or Gold Collector or else I will probably grab one of these two. You should consider going level 4 at 2-1 and level 5 at 2-5. At this point, you just try to build up your gold, meanwhile you don't lose too much health. I'm always trying to get items for failures first, but every time I have the chance, I slam an item for the frontline as well. At stage 3-2, you will look for level 6 if you haven't already leveled at stage 3-1 to keep a win streak. Are you falling behind? You can go level 7 at stage 3, 5 and else wait to stage 4, 1. Roll down to 2 star most of your units and roll a bit more if you're contested or low on health. Else try to go level 8 as fast as possible when you're stable to get all your units to 2 star. The most important thing about how you're placing your units is that your carry is not getting CC'd. That means if your enemy is playing a unit like Jarvan, you should place your carry away from the other units to make sure that he's not getting stunned. Are you lucky enough to get Eternal Winter placing Sejuani to their carry attacking him in the start of the game? This will slow down the damage a huge amount. That was all for now. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more guys like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next guide.